Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make crazy virtual beats with just like stock FL Studio plugins. You know, because FL Studio has a bunch of synths that come with the program, but really no one uses them because they think it's trash, which is kind of wrong because if you know how to use it, you can make some crazy shit. But yeah, before we get started, you know what I'm saying? Go follow me on social media as always. Tap in with me. But yeah, let's get it. So basically I have these three plugins already loaded up. I have Citrus uh which is this and then i have harmer and harmless they're both uh, plugins that i used to use a lot when i started making beats because that's the only thing i had so yeah these three plugins actually have a lot of good sounds that you can kind of tweak with and get something going so i have my bpm at 140 you know that's like a lo good low uzi tempo so i'm just gonna go into harmless first and try to find like a pluck and they have like a category called plucks so i'm just gonna scroll through these and you want to you know we're looking for like a really happy kind of sounding melody I mean, those could work, honestly. Oh, I actually like that a lot. But um, what I'm going to do is take the delay off. So just go over here. Maybe just uh, take the, you know, reverb down a little bit too. That could work, honestly. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to quantize it real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this over to have like a longer pattern. And then at the last part, I'm going to do control B and copy this and put it at the back and then turn the velocity down. So it's going to be like this. Just a little variation at the end, you know, now I'm going to add some top notes, you know, to spice up that melody. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do for these actually is put the top melody in a different plugin because I don't like how like reverby it is. That's that's such like a EDM kind of thing. I And there's so much reverb on it. Oh my god. That's the thing with these instruments. Like when you're starting out, you don't realize how much like effects. Like if the reverb is too much, it's gonna just sound like garbage automatically. So that's why once you understand how to use it, it's way easier to make something good with even default plugins. <laughs> So over here I kinda wanted to go like da 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 Uh, so in the second half, I'm just going to add some notes to surprise the listener. Because you want the loop to be kind of interesting in the second half also. Switch some things up, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's the thing. It's like, uh, see over here, like the, I like this preset, but it was too high pass. So over here, you can see the filter section. You know, you just you just gotta work the knobs in these plugins. That's why it sounds like shit when you try to make a beat with these. It's because it's harder to use and there's no like, you know, presets that sound amazing. So if you actually want to know how to use like knobs, I did a video on that. I'll link it right now. Go check it out. But yeah, some of these sound garbage, man. Like, not, not even gonna cap. Some of these sound garbage, but like, you can still use them. All right, so now I'm just gonna try to find a uh, like a pad to fill out that background space. For pads, I really like using citrus. And I actually did a cook-up video on Citrus too. Uh, I'll link it if y'all want to check it out. But, um, you know, let's just choose like a pad. Um, above clouds, like kind of fire. And, uh, you know, take out um, all the unnecessary stuff. 
and just kind of make it walk and uh, you know make it just longer because the pad it has to be long for the pad to be audible this is hella fire So next I'm going to go into here into, I think this is Harmer, and uh, try to find like some other uh, lead that we can put on top, something like this. But I want something more like in the background. That's honestly fire, but uh, the delay is way too much. But I'm telling y'all, like the effects are like really overdone in these plugins. So just take it off. So you know what I'm saying? I think we're honestly ready for uh, drums. So I'm just gonna rename everything. Plug two or 12. No, it can't be 12. <laughs> 12. Plug two. I'm gonna go into uh, my Abyss drum kit and uh, pick some sounds real quick. I'm just gonna I'm gonna choose the Nebula clap because I like that one a lot and maybe some of the hats. Let's see. I like bigger a lot. And This part where it goes dun dun dun. I'm just gonna bring that in in the second section because I don't want it to be too crazy. feeling like a shorter one over here oh yeah oh yeah that's hard that's hard Since the 808 is doing some crazy shit, I want to also do make the hi-hats go crazy over here. I'm actually going to use the Sia perk. Also, that one's insane. I 
we're gonna just leave it right there. I don't want to do too much with it. All right, honestly, I think that's the whole beat. I'm just gonna arrange it real quick. Uh, just to blow everything by channel and delete this and just you know put it all in the playlist. All right, so I went ahead and uh, mixed it and did some arrangement and stuff. So I'll play you guys the final beat in a second. But if you guys thought this video was helpful, you know what I'm saying? Comment below what you thought of it. Give it a like, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>